Hey everybody, this is Mark Harris, 1555 Filmworks. Check it out. Today we're going to deal with the top 10 ways to start your filmmaking journey. The top 10 ways to start your filmmaking journey. Okay, number one, um, if you're unable to afford to go to filmmaking school, I strongly suggest is go on YouTube and listen to different podcasts. Uh, you have Film Courage, you have Indie, Indie Film Hustle. They have a wealth of information. Uh, they interview uh, tons of different filmmakers who are in front of and behind the camera. Uh, from producers to directors to live producers to screenwriters, just go on those different sites and uh, and look at uh, and listen to those interviews. So number one, I strongly suggest that we be trying to understand or start your filmmaking journey just to see the uh, hear the nuts and bolts of the whole filmmaking process. Go on uh, YouTube and look up Film Courage or any film hustle, and there are more sites as well. But go on there and and listen to the different filmmakers so you can start your filmmaking journey. Um, also, number two is, this is for filmmakers, those who like want to produce uh, or direct, uh, casting, so forth and so on. Reach out to different filmmakers that are, that are in your community or in your city. Reach out to these different filmmakers, right? And if you don't have a filmmaker that's in your city, look around to see what is close to you, that is nearby, a city that's nearby. And uh, look at look up these filmmakers and see if they're shooting something. And if they're shooting something, volunteer to go on their set uh, because the experience is much more much more than the pay. Volunteer to go on their set, whether it is uh, just don't go in there just to look around. Go on that on the sets just to help. So what you want to do, you don't want to just go and just take 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 take. You want to go. You want to give something, but you want to receive something back. So you're giving your time. And in terms of you giving your time, you, you gain the experience. So don't look for the quick pay. Don't look for the quick $100, whatever whatever the pay is. Go on that set and get the experience, especially if you have no experience at all. So number two, okay, for filmmakers, right? Look at look at uh, what's, what is being filmed in your city and, and reach out to the, to, the, to the producers of that project and ask if you can come on the set and volunteer your time. And ask if you can, again, I'm repeat, ask if you can go on and volunteer your time uh, because the experience is much more than a pay. Um, number three, for actors, right? It's, it's the same thing. Like actors, what you do is look up what's going on in your city, whether it's plays, whether it's short films, whether it's commercials, whether it's uh, web episodes, whatever is being filmed in your city or in your surrounding areas. Uh, that you can afford to travel to or you can afford to go to, go to those places and don't look for the quick pay. Ask them if you can just come on set, if you can observe. Go go and audition for these roles. How can you audition uh, for for actors? Reach out to uh, to independent filmmakers and ask, how can I audition, audition for these particular roles? And you have to do your research. You have to do your research. For, this is for actors. I'm becoming actors if you want to start the film, if you want to start the filmmaking process. Again, Look at to see what is filmed in your community, whether it's a commercial, whether it's a feature film, whether it's a short film, whether it's plays. Sharpen your skills. Get in front of the camera. You know, sharpen your skills. Ask if you can uh, you can get on the set. Just be a stand-in. That's basically you're going on set. You're standing there for the actual actor, and so that gives you that gives you. Uh, uh, it's like networking, right? So the director is looking at you and paying attention to you and to where, the, where the actors is in their um, trailer getting makeup. So go on as a stand-in. You know, you never know what as being a stand-in, what can uh, come out of that, come out of that uh, situation. Okay, number four. Again, filmmaking school. Filmmaking school is great as a great way to learn filmmaking. And I put number filmmaking school at number four. I didn't put it at number one. Uh, filmmaking school is a great great way to learn filmmaking and also it's great to, for networking because a lot of the uh, people who are in film school they go off to be executives um and so forth and so on so it's, a, it's also a part of networking um okay number five move to la with the and network with the right people okay number five i'm going to say it again you move to la and ne start networking with the right people Get around the right, the right people, I meaning the people who are in the industry. Network with these people. Learn these people. Get to know these people. Eat with these people. Lunch, go to lunch with these people. Go to events with these people. Move to L.A. and uh, uh, 
and start networking with the right people. Number five. Number six, meet the right people and start networking. Number six, meet the right people in the film industry and start networking. Number seven, network with other filmmakers. I'm going to repeat. Number seven, network with other filmmakers. Okay, number eight, go to film festivals, events, parties, uh, networking events to meet uh, up-and-coming filmmakers, established filmmakers, go to these film festivals, parties, events, uh, so forth and so on, so you can network with different people in the film industry. That's number eight. Number nine, use social media wisely to network. Okay, so what do I mean by that? This is number nine. Use social media wisely to network with other filmmakers. That doesn't mean uh, bombard people with uh, inbox messages and things like that. That means that if you see, if you, if you, if a person is that you know that's in the film business and they maybe post something, right? Maybe you, you want to like the comment. Maybe you want to. Uh, uh, make a comment on their post so they can start to get to know you. You know, you have to develop a relationship. Um, so it's one of the things that we do is one of the mistakes that we make is we work out of desperation. So we, uh, it's for someone that, you know, what we do is with someone to accept our friendship on, on, uh, on, on a social media site, we instantly send them a, a, a DM or a Facebook message. How can I be in one of your fams? And no one's going to respond to that. You have to e let re relationships evolve and grow. You know what I'm saying? You have to re let relationships evolve and grow. So if, if, you, if you become friends with someone on one of these social media sites, don't, be, don't let the first thing that you DM them, asking them, how can, how can you be a part of their project? That's a no-no. Let... Let the, uh, the, uh, the relationship evolve and grow into something much more, okay? Uh, so that's how, ne how to network on social media. Okay, number 10, network with other filmmakers. Number 10, network with other filmmakers. So with all that said, that's, your, that's the top 10 ways to start your filmmaking journey. You notice networking is so important. Most of the jobs, the business, uh, the jobs that are, are that, that uh, come about in the film business, they're through networking, 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 networking. Talent uh, is not even on the top of that list. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's on the top of that list, but it's it's not before networking. So you you know you have you of course that you gonna have that talent, but it's also about networking. Networking is so so important um so those are my top 10 reasons if you want to add more reasons how to people can break into the, uh, start their journey on, on the uh in the film business make sure you put that down below in the comment section thank you and take care